obviously our New York Comic Con panel was a really important topic to us, right? Like super close to our hearts as a studio and as a and as a game, Sea of Thieves, right? Is that ever since the start of Sea of Thieves, right? We've always had this vision of creating this type of multiplayer experience that takes the best thing about like shared world games and those encounters with other players, but maybe reduces some of the barriers to entry for players, right? We wanted to make it more welcoming and yeah. friendly, and we wanted to bring people in to this kind of nice environment and hopefully turn around some of those expectations or preconceptions that they've got about multiplayer. Early on we learnt, like when we were prototyping and experimenting with lots of different ways to do this, right? Because we wanted to give as much freedom to players as possible, right? Yeah. We, and, we wanted and to let you do anything yeah. initially. Yeah, and we soon learned that that wasn't the path to crew harmony, yeah. right? <laughs> so like when you could first get the treasure chest yeah. and it was individual pieces of treasure that you yeah. could take out or you could and share. And we had friendly fire and you yeah. could kill people on your own crew and it became kind of the done thing that was you were always waiting for the knife in your back. Like yeah. unfortunately it wasn't a rare thing that we thought it would be. It happened all the time and then as soon as we Not kind of thing, no. yeah. As soon as we made the um, unintentional. As soon as we made the design choice to switch to basically an ethos where the crew bond is absolutely sacred and everything between you and your crew is this kind of shared cooperative thing. But then other people and other crews, that's where you get all that part. That's where you get the pirate in. That's where you can put the knife in the back. Yeah. But within your crew, it's sacred. As soon as we switched to that, it made it the game that we wanted it to be. Yeah. I think that's what makes it a multiplayer game that. I think if you've not played multiplayer games mm -hmm. before or if you've been put off by you know, toxic or competitive games um, or experiences, that there's much more of a chance you're going to come into Sea of Thieves and have a really fun experience that where your crew will welcome you with open arms because you can contribute equally. Absolutely. And, like, like, that was yeah. really important to us that it's not a traditional game where you need to have a certain amount of skill or a certain amount of experience. You could come in day one and go up in the crow's nest and you end up being the most valuable person on that crew because you spotted something that no one else did. And I think we're really unique in that sense. Yeah. And so some of the, the new features we showed off at New York Comic Con, right? There was the small ship, right? Yeah. Which for us, that's not just kind of a different way to play, but it's an avenue in to multiplayer, right? Definitely. For, uh, so people, we know that there are people out there who might look at Sea of Thieves and think that's like the type of game that I want to play, but I'm not really sure about playing with other people. And although you're always in a shared world, you can go on the small ship on your own and kind of get a taster and see what's going on. But you can also match make with just one other person. And we hope that that's a way that you can maybe build a bond with just one other person and then maybe you graduate to a large ship together, you become friends. Yeah, I would love to see that. And I think with that small ship, we're going to be putting that into our alpha fairly mm -hmm. soon and testing it with all of our you know, insiders that are playing. And it's going to be fascinating to see how many start playing with the small ship, how many do a mix between yeah. both, how many maybe bonded with another small ship player in the world exactly, and teamed yeah. up against I the bigger ship. I think that's the yeah. idea, you get two small ships with a two people crew yeah. on and then they, they go on yeah. to a big ship together, that would yeah. be yeah, yeah. awesome. Yeah. At the start of the project we've been, well since the start we've been using verbal communication to communicate within the game, but we've always known um, that there needs to be an alternate way to communicate. And whether that's because as a player you don't feel comfortable identifying yourself or talking on an online environment, um, you know, because in some online games that can be a problem, right? And yeah. people can use kind of um, use that to attack you or to kind of like try and harass you or anything. And we know that that's a, that can be a problem. But also maybe you you don't like to talk or you like, you know maybe have a speech disability yeah. or a hearing disability. Or maybe but, it's even situational. Like yeah. maybe you've got kids asleep and you yeah. can't like you normally do, but you can't this time. Like yeah. there's a ton of reasons why people might not be able to use their mic. Right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so the number of communication system has been kind of requested by our players yeah. and it kind of for some people it might be an avenue for them again like the small ship is an avenue to kind of come into a yeah. multiplayer game this could be an avenue to start communicating with yeah. others start building a bond start making friends yeah. and then maybe you feel comfortable enough you know if you're able to transition across the voice chat. So as much as we endeavour to build everything with this social like bonding and the, and the crew bond being sacred we know there are still occasions where you might get someone on your crew who's not partaking in the cooperative nature yep. and we wanted to find a way of dealing with that so that you could deal with these people but it was crucial to us that it had to be in world and it had to feel like it fits Sea of Thieves yep. uh, so our solution to that which we talked about at Comic-Con yep. was that we allow the crew to vote like an uncooperative player into the brig. Yep. The way the, the brig works right you vote as a crew to yep. put someone who's being unruly or kind of yeah not cooperative or is constantly dropping the anchor or whichever yep. pick whichever of your favourite feedback topics about um, un unhelpful players in the in the alpha right and so you can put them into the brig and 
you can go and laugh at them and uh, vomit, on them. vomit on them, like do whatever. But if they're sorry and you want to give them another try, then you can actually yeah. vote them out as a That group. was really, really important to us that it wasn't kind of like a black and white, this a done deal. Somebody's done something and that's it, they're out of the game. Like we, we wanted to give people an opportunity to learn from their mistakes. So they come into Sea of Thieves, maybe they are like upsetting the crew, but maybe they don't really realise the kind of um, the boundaries and then they're put into the brig, they have a little bit of time to think about it, exactly. they get let back out and then hopefully they'll kind of modify their behaviour and it gives them yeah. the chance to do that. So one of the things we were really excited to kind of reveal um, to, to everyone at the New York Comic Con was the Pirates Code mm -hmm. that we've been kind of working on with our community. So, you know, we've, we've had a hot topic in the forums where we were discussing like what are the things that are really important to you in a multiplayer game, yeah. in Sea of Thieves, about how people behave, about how, how they shouldn't behave. Um, and so we've worked kind of really hard to craft that code in, the, in a way that's clear to players. And we're hoping that because us and our community have created this together, when it comes to kind of enforcing it, it's not just down to us, it's not just down to our customer service team and, um, you know, bit, like it's down to the players in the game. Mm -hmm. Like it's this pirate's code that you're signing up to and that you're almost, you're role playing as pirates in Sea of Thieves and you should, but you should be doing it in the way that is, you know, respectful of other players and sure, be a pirate, right? There's, yeah. there's a set of behaviours that you expect to be able to, to do as a pirate, right? But you have to do it respectfully and you shouldn't be kind of being abusive or being, you know, like discriminatory or, or whatever. So Be a cool pirate. There you go, be, be a, a cool pirate, pirate. yeah. <laughs>